All right, guys, uh, we're going to start on part two. We are starting this Troy belt. I just pushed it outside from my garage. And when you do start these, uh, when we're, I know I said I was going to skip this part, but I thought, eh, maybe people don't know this. When you start these tractors, you should have them in PTO, um, choke, basically. And uh, that just, uh, you know, make sure your engine's idling until it gets up to temperature. We're going to let this thing run for about two minutes, and then we're going to leave the parking brake on for now. That's fine. You can do that and it'll make sure you're safe otherwise you have to kind of hold in that while it's running so we are also starting in neutral you should not be running this in you know forwards or anything like that so let's give it a crank and see if that battery actually held up on the trickle charger okay one two three Okay, as you saw there, there was a little bit of smoke coming out uh, when we first started. That's to be expected, though, on these type of engines. And I did turn down the choke there because I wanted to see, or sorry, the throttle. Um, the choke, man, we didn't have to leave that on for very long. I mean, it sputtered for a minute, but then it was ready to rock and roll. So let's push her back inside and let's change this oil. Now, this will be my first time changing on this little... Uh, Troy belt. I've never done one on here before, but I did say we were going to do three or four minutes earlier, but we ended up actually only doing about a minute and a half, two minutes. I, I went back and reread the manual, and they do recommend that you kind of give it a little break and you know just do two minutes because that's evidently hot enough. You're just trying to get it warm enough to flow easily. All right, so I'm going to push this all the way back, and then we're going to swap to changing out the oil. Okay, we got her pushed back, and then uh, we pulled off the little cover that's on here. Just this is a little pop off. This is where your actual your oil is going to come out. So what we'll do now, they give you this tube in your packaging, and hopefully you didn't throw it away. I mean, if you did, it's not that big a deal. Um, you, all you're literally doing is going to you now slide this on here, and it's going to act as your little, you know, kind of little funnel right there to direct everything. See, it just goes on there nice and snug. And then get yourself an old container. I've got this old castrol that. If you remember my video where we did our air compressor, we drained everything directly into there. So what we'll do is set this up right here. Uh, oops, slipped off. Darn thing. She's a tricky little one, ain't she? <laughs> okay, it'd probably also help if I had this wheel turned so I could get my jug in there. I mean, if not, I can go get one of my oil pans. I just, I was hoping this would work. Oh yeah, look at that, like a glove. And that's all you need. It's you know in there firmly. It's not like there's going to be a ton of pressure. Now I believe on this model right here, my old one had a little like little locking nug right here you had to turn, and uh, with a wrench. This one looks like you're literally just kind of hand turning it like this, and then I don't know, does it flow right out or something? Okay, something's wrong. I thought that's what all you did, but. Maybe we gotta pull it out or something. Well, I thought that's all it was, but maybe I'm wrong. Wouldn't be the first time, won't be the last time. All right, guys, I'm gonna put you on pause for a second and then I'm gonna investigate this a little bit further. Ooh, and there we go, guys. It, all it was is I, I just had to give it a little bit of a, more of a turn. You can see that oil flowing out right there, man. Yeah, she's pretty dark. I know it doesn't look like much on here, but she is uh, flowing out of there and they do recommend on these that you drain the oil out of the bottom portion first, just until she stops flowing, and then you switch over and take out your filter. So, uh, we'll let this drain. I'm not going to bore you guys with this, but yeah, that was some dirty oil. This was the starter oil that they literally gave me with this um, when they dropped off the tractor. They had already filled it up, and I checked it a couple times for the season, and I didn't look like I had any issues with you know, the oil you know, clogging up or getting dirty or anything, but, and uh, I did misspeak earlier, this is actually 1.6 quart oil, so we will, you know, I have something like rattling in the back of my garage, I wonder if I have like a squirrel or something, yeah, we'll figure it out. All right, guys, we're going to let this drain off, and then uh, we will follow up with you and let you know how it goes, and then we'll switch back to changing this filter and then finally filling her up. 
Okay, sorry about that guys. I was just, uh, man, that thing took forever to flow out. I would highly recommend if you're gonna drain that. I mean, it's been like 10 minutes and it was still draining a little bit. Uh, definitely, you know, warm this up for a little bit longer. I would go, you know, my initial estimate of three to four minutes was probably right. Uh, one and a half, two minutes is not enough time. This thing, you know, took forever to drain and my God, this filter. I tried it by hand, couldn't get it. I got all of my little, you know, wrenches that I've gotten over the years. That one didn't work, that one didn't work. This one might have worked, but it felt like it kept mangling it, so I, I didn't want to use it. I eventually started trying all my filters, uh, you know, wrenches that I have. None of these fit until I found this one at the very bottom. It's uh, just the standard, you know, type I, and I don't know what size this one is. It's not clearly marked. It came in a pack that I bought a couple years ago, uh, but it's just a plastic one, but it fit on there. And even with that, that fits snugly in this, I had to put on an extension bar just to break the seal on this thing. This thing, man, whatever China man was working that day, he's, uh, you know, he's hardcore. So let's uh, finish uh, unloosening this thing and let's see what we get out of here. Hopefully it doesn't like splatter all over the place. Okay, here we go. Here's the good stuff. The money shot. She comes. Oh, there she is. A little bit sloppy coming out of there. Not a ton of crap. That's good. Let's see under there, see what it looks like. She, she's a little gooey. Oh well. Well, um, good news. We do have down our, um, this is one of those plastic, uh, you know, what's it called? Poly walls. Um, I bought some poly wall to protect the concrete in here from oily stuff like from my car and it's worked pretty well. I mean for something that costs 12 bucks it, it comes in a big sheet and you just lay it down and then you know it soaks up all that crap that drips on the floor. All right. Oh man. Yeah, that was not too bad. See it's a little dark but it's not terrible. And then let's look at her under there. Oh baby. We need to get ourselves a paper towel. Okay. We're gonna wipe that up a little bit. There wasn't a ton of oil in there. There's there's is some in the filter, but the oil doesn't look as nearly as dirty as I had imagined. And man, uh, definitely warm this thing up first before you do it and warm it up for an extended period of time. We're just gonna kinda wipe away some of this excess crap in here. Make sure we got nothing, you know, debris-wise in there that's kinda stuck on. I think it's looking pretty good. There's that little gasket that needs to stay on. Um the gasket, I believe, comes with the filter every year, but if not, we're gonna set it here and make sure. If you do not reinstall that gasket on here, you will have oil spraying out of this thing in all directions. Uh, my brother, actually, I <laughs> went to one of those, you know, quick lube, lightning lube, you know, Texas 10 minute lubes. Uh, see, that's not too bad, there's a little dirt in there, but that's probably residual from, you know, just wiping around this area. All right, let's get all that out of there. All right, yes, yes. My precious, yes. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about that. So he went to one of those lightning loop places and quick lubes, whatever. Oh man, that, that thing's full of it, look at that. And they forgot to reinstall that on his car. Um, and it was a Saturn Aura, oil all over the inside of the car, engine ended up blowing, because he, he knows nothing about cars, he just drove it. So it sounded loud, then all of a sudden the engine seizes up. So moral of the story, reinstall the gasket. Always put on the rubber, guys. Am I right? <laughs> All right, guys, give me just a minute. I am going to uh, pull out our new filter and then uh, we're please set up for the next part of the vid. All right, guys, here's the filter. And uh, out of the box, it does come with the new gasket, so we are not gonna need that one. This filter is a slightly, uh, you know, different uh, size. Uh, it's a little bit shorter, so I'm wondering if it'll work as well. Um, you know, I got, I got my, suspicions it'll be fine this is what Kohler recommended I don't know why they'd sell me something it wouldn't but uh first of all we got to fill this with some oil so let's uh step back right here and this is recommended so you don't have a dry filter situation oh god let's see if I can do this without making a freaking mess of everything hey I'm doing pretty good imagine that now they don't tell you how much but I imagine we should have it pretty full it doesn't hurt to get it around in there. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Well, we got it pretty full. All right, 
A little bit more. Oh no, we just got it on the floor. Oh crap. Okay, we did too much. <laughs> but the good part is we got a little bit to go on here. We'll wipe that around the edge. All right. We got a little bit too much in there. I mean, it's not overflowing. It just looks like that because of the way those are. But we're just gonna plop her back in. Man, this would be a lot easier if this thing wasn't all oily now, thanks to my ineptitude. Okay, there we go. Locked in. All right, I'm going to put you guys on hold for a sec while I get all this oil off my hands. Okay, so next time I do this, I did tighten that all the way on there, and you're supposed to do about, you know, three quarters of a turn to one turn after... Let's see, what's it say? I can't even read that from here after gasket contact. So I did a full rotation in the gaskets, you know. Can't even really see it. I think that'll do just fine. I wonder why there's a little bit larger gap there. Hopefully it's not cross it. It looks like it's meeting pretty well. So uh, we'll find out. If oil goes spewing everywhere, we'll be in trouble. Okay, now for adding oil, we're supposed to do just about 1.6 quarts. I can tell there's still a little bit of oil left in there, so we're gonna add one quart and then see how it goes. Um, I would recommend for anyone trying this in the future, just get the one quarts. Buy two quarts of oil. Don't buy a five gallon jug and be a hero. I bought it because I have another tractor and I figured this might be you know, a quick way to take care of it, but we'll put you on pause while I throw this oil in. All right, my dudes, that is just about one quart. Now, we did put quite a bit of oil in that filter, so I kind of wanted to hold off on there and not, uh, you know, throw a ton of oil in there because I figure with that, you know, little thing right there, that's, you know, probably a tenth of a quart. And then we got one quart in there. Well, you know, we're going to add a little bit more. We're going to go like 1.25, and then we will uh, start her up real quick and then check it. There we go. All right. Where does that leave us? Okay, I'm gonna call that good. Right about 1.25. All right guys, I'm putting you on hold and then we will be right back. All right guys, and just to show you, we are right at full, look at that. Right at the edge of those lines, kinda on the F symbol. Perfect. All right, so it looks like we were pretty accurate there. I'm, I am going to run a little bit and check the oil after about you know, 20, 30 minutes and make sure it's still okay. Um, you should do that anywhere. That's just got good common practice. Uh, wow, I got to clean up this mess now. I did not add Marvel Mystery Oil to the oil. Um, I did add it to the gas if you did not see the first part of this video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. MN Breno 5 out. Thanks for tuning in.